Hello everybody, Don't Blink here again with another Battlefield Bad Company 2 gameplay commentary for you guys. And today I've got a bit of Arca Harbor Conquest. This is just a kill streak video, this is not an entire match. The entire match was about 16 minutes long and I just didn't feel like commentating for that long to be honest. I didn't have enough to talk about to be completely honest. So instead I just extracted this single life from this match. It was the most exciting life anyway and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy. I was actually playing against many of my fellow members of D Crew during this match. I had Swordsman on my team and just about everyone else on the other team. So that seems to be a, a bit of a trend for me. I always seem to end up on the team opposite all of my friends. So usually it's not very enjoyable and I just get pummeled, but every once in a while I have uh, a game like this and, and I do better than usual and, and get lots of kills and have some fun. So hopefully you'll enjoy the gameplay. Uh, it's not the focus of this video though, as usual. I mean, this game has been out for so long, I find it difficult to just talk about gameplay anymore. But that's just me. If you guys would like more focus on the gameplay, let me know in the comments. I mean, I'm always looking for feedback, so uh, don't hesitate to let me know. I just Try and be constructive, that's that's the main thing. I don't mind criticism as long as it's constructive. So many trolls on YouTube, especially lately, it seems to have gotten really bad, but maybe that's just because my, my channel continues to grow. But anyway, that's uh, completely off topic, not what I meant to talk about today. What I did want to go into and discuss is Battlefield 3, as usual. I've got three bits of news that I'd like to discuss today. Uh, one good and two bad, so kind of a bummer commentary. I know, I know, sorry about that, but um, I just wanted to cover the stuff that I've been kind of focusing on personally in regards to Battlefield 3 news so far. So I'm going to start with the bit of good news because I don't know how long I'm going to go and rant about the two bad things. So, um,. If you just want a bit of an uplifting commentary, just watch until I'm done talking about the, the good part. And those of you who want to get bummed out and hate the world like I often do, then you can watch the entire video. <laughs> Something for everybody, I guess. So anyway, the one bit of exciting news is Gamescom is coming up this week. It's taking place in Germany, and it's looking like DICE is going to be showing Conquest footage and gameplay at the show. So that's exciting. That hasn't been shown yet, at least for Battlefield 3 thus far. And it also seems extremely likely that they'll be showing off Jet gameplay and Jets will be playable at the event. So I know a lot of diehard Battlefield fans from the 1942 and Battlefield 2 days are looking forward to seeing how Jets handle and uh, how they work in Battlefield 3. And although I'm not really, um, I guess, a Battlefield veteran in that I didn't spend hundreds or thousands of hours playing those older um, installments in the series, I did play Battlefield 1942 quite a bit, and I've probably put in about 60 or 70 hours into Battlefield 2 total. So I do have experience with with those games and based on my experience with Battlefield 2 in particular I am not really looking forward to having jets in Battlefield 3. They just seem to be a real pain in the ass to take down. They, The draw distance is so short in that game that they just zoom in, bomb you to hell, killing you almost instantaneously and then zoom away and you can't even see them anymore. So. Thankfully, Battlefield 3 is going to be using Frostbite 2, which means that the draw distance should be insane, and hopefully DICE will include some more countermeasures so that those of us who enjoy infantry combat more can more easily take out those pesky vehicles. So that's kind of the exciting news, the news that I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing more of. The two things that I'm kind of down about have to do with the PC version of Battlefield 3. So you console players, this won't affect, but um, those of us who play on the PC, I'm not too excited. EA has really been pissing me off lately, to be honest. Uh, it has nothing to do with DICE. I think DICE is doing a great job with the game based on 
my time with the Alpha and my time at E3 and all that. But EA seems to just be making misstep after misstep in regards to this game. They know it's going to be a blockbuster. They know it's going to do well and be a great game. And they're using that as, I don't know, an avenue for them to further so many other goals of theirs that it's just obnoxious and it's pissing me off. So the first thing that they're doing is... Um, for some reason, all of a sudden, they've been taking games off of Steam because, uh, according to them, Steam changed their terms of service so that it makes it difficult for them to interface with their customers and their players and, you know, give them patches and all that garbage. So, you know, I kind of understand that, but it means that Battlefield 3 is not going to be available on Steam. And Steam currently holds 70% of the digital download market for PC. So what is that going to do to sales of the PC version of the game? I mean, I'm guessing a lot of people will just buy it elsewhere via a different digital download service or via retail. But what about those people who don't buy anything unless it's on Steam or those people who can't buy anything unless it's on Steam because of where they live or or whatever, whatever reason it may be. It might end up hurting sales, and that bothers me because, well, <laughs> if the sales aren't good for the PC version of the game, then EA is not going to allow their AAA developers like DICE to do like DICE did with Battlefield 3 and use the PC as the lead platform. So we PC players are going to get screwed out of even more exclusives and um, lead platform titles, which uh, we already don't get very many of those in the first place. And to have Battlefield taken away from us would be a pain in the ass and a definite letdown. But uh, what also kind of ties into that point is EA's announcement, or rather... Uh, Daniel Matros's announcement, and I know he's just doing what EA Marketing is telling him to do, but he basically leaked on Twitter that Battlefield 3 will require Origin in order to uh, work on PC. And based on my time with Origin, there's absolutely no reason for that other than the fact that EA is just dying to get people on Origin, their new digital download platform on the PC. So... That's kind of annoying. I mean, <laughs> Origin is really just a, a watered-down version of Steam. It's a Steam imitator, Steam copycat, and it has absolutely no differentiating features over any of its competitors in the digital download space. So I, I don't see any technical reason why Origin should be required for Battlefield 3, so it's really just EA dying to get people to install Origin so that they can shove more games down our throats via that platform, and that just rubs me the wrong way, so. Anyway, this video is coming to a close. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay as well as the commentary. Uh, let me know what you think on these topics. I'd love to hear what you have to say. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll talk to you later.